Hi friends, egg retrieval is an important day in IVF. It is a simple, painless and safe procedure. I will explain you the 5 steps in IVF. I am Dr. Savita Ashok, Shakti Fertility. If you have any doubt, you can contact us. Subscribe our channel Shakti Fertility and Health and share with your friends. Step 1. Step 1 is the evaluation. We will do the basic screening that is routine blood investigation plus hormones for you and your partner. Then we will monitor you for any medical illness like if you have diabetes mellitus, hypertension, if you are asthmatic, if you have any thyroid issues then we will correct this then we will take you up for IVF. Step 2 is about the counselling, consent and the protocol selection. We will give you all the ideas right from starting of the injections, how the egg retrieval is done, how the quality of the eggs are there after the egg retrieval, when the embryos will be formed, like when we will go for the transfer, we will counsel everything for you and we will get consent form signed by you. And about the protocol selection, it is an individualized treatment like uh, we are having agonist and antagonist two protocols are there and for every patient it varies. We will select the protocol according to you and after selecting the protocol we will give you medications that is the injections, uh, gonadotrophins, follicular stimulating hormone. We will give it for 9 to 10 days till the follicles get mature and reaches the size from 15 to 20 mm. Then the step 3 is about the anesthetic review. The anesthetist will see you and uh, examine you whether we, you are fit for anesthesia or not. So he will ask some questions about like whether you have any cold, fever, any allergy to any medications, if you have any cough. We will clear all your illness and then we will take up you for the oocyte retrieval. Step 4 is about the day of the retrieval. The before day we will ask you to come on fasting for 6 hours. You should not eat or drink anything in the morning and you have to come in the morning and you say retrieval is a daycare procedure, we will discharge you on the same day if we are not planning for the transfer on the next two days. And about the oocyte retrieval, on the day when you get admitted, we will start you with the IV line, antibiotics, IV fluids and the injection tetanus toxide. On the time of the egg retrieval, we will give you short sedation which lasts only for 15 to 20 minutes. Now I will explain you the procedure of the egg retrieval. We will ask you to lie down in the lithotomy position and under ultrasound guidance, we will aspirate your follicles by using a thin needle that we will inject through the vagina and it goes into the ovaries and it will aspirate the follicles from the ovaries. From that aspirated follicles, we will retrieve the eggs and egg retrieval is done by an embryologist inside the IVF lab. And about the step 5, if we are not planning for a fresh transfer, we will discharge you on the same day of the oocyte retrieval. We know if we are going for any hyperstimulation, whether you have so many eggs, we will ask you to stay in the hospital and we will observe you for the next one or two days. If you are stable, then we will discharge you in one or two days. If we are planning for the fresh transfer, that is after the oocyte retrieval, when we are planning for transfer on that same month, after two or three days, then we will ask you to stay in the hospital or you can go home and come on the day of the transfer. We will plan according to your embryo quality, whether we have to transfer on the day two or day three on the day five. If we are planning for freezing all your embryos and transferring after two months, then we will discharge you within four hours of observation. You can take oral fluids after three hours of egg retrieval and you can take your meals after four hours. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you got some ideas about the egg retrieval. Please do watch all our videos in Shakti Fertility. Thank you.